In your first alert forecast, we have scattered clouds. We have patchy fog and actually where these clouds are moving by still, especially valley and east, we could have get a kind of a stray shower pop up just a little tiny speck here, but a couple of raindrops possible. So using the humidity for fog north and west and for a stray shower with these passing clouds, valley and east, even around 9 a.m. Still see a little stray shower trying to clip the valley foothills into the mountains midday. Really, we're transitioning to just sunshine, mostly sunny views all afternoon, warm, a little humid. We've got a lot going for us, though, at least with that nice little dry stretch if you're needing to get outdoors or maybe you've got a little bit of a muddy yard at this point from rounds of rain. It's varied greatly around our area, but today what we'll share will be the heat at a seasonable temperature, so normal heat, but then it is humid enough to make it feel several degrees warmer. Notice that starts becoming more of a factor in terms of the feels like temperature mid to late morning. By midday, we're right around 80 degrees, but it feels like the mid 80s this afternoon several hours feeling like the low to mid 90s, even though the high today is 89. So we'll hit that high right around 5 p.m. It'll feel like 94 and still a little steamy here on the tail end of the day. Uh, upper 70s will be feeling like low 80s at 9 p.m. So in between again, that stray shower moves out. We have a mostly sunny view and we share really mid to upper 80s for the most part, kind of thrown an isolated 90 as you look south here in the forecast where you live. 90 Athens to 89 Madisonville and Knoxville and Loudoun. Forecast where you live 88 in Rockwood and Clinton to 84 Crossville and 85 Jamestown. Topping out at 87 today in La Follette and Williamsburg. Tazewell, your high today, 85. Headed towards 87 today in Blaine and Newport and 88 in Pigeon Forge. Plenty of warmth here, plenty of sun. And then tomorrow morning, we'll have a few clouds and some patches of fog again. The difference here tomorrow afternoon, we could have a stray shower. We've actually got some scattered rain and storms that want to develop and move in tomorrow evening. So notice around sunset, we've got a few pockets of rain and storms headed our way. And then this will stick with about a 40% coverage at best overnight into Wednesday morning and then it'll get back to spotty. So that's kind of our next best chance for rain and storms on the tail end of tomorrow into early Wednesday. So as we got some extra heating room here, so kind of pull up some extra heat at ahead of those scattered storms. That'll start us out in the low 70s tomorrow morning, mid 80s at noon. Your high tomorrow will be 93 again, feeling warmer. So overall, we've got this batch of scattered storms Wednesday afternoon. This is kind of dropping south during the day, so that'll leave us with some afternoon isolated rain and storms. And then really just spotty at times Thursday, and pulsing up along our elevation changes Friday as well into the mountains. And really we'll keep that trend going until early next week. That's when we'll start having some rain and storms return late Sunday into Monday in your first alert eight day planner. So at least in this case, like I said, we're kind of wrangling the weather a little bit better every few days, build up the heat from today to tomorrow, have scattered rain and storms. Give us a little bit of break back to spotty with just the heat and the humidity and then add back in some scattered rain and storms again early next week.